I do not tend to visualize my music. It can inspire visual visualizations for me, but it's not something that I um, I don't necessarily think of music in terms of the visual arts. But this new project has kind of led me into that into that path. So the neck is a bridge to the body was really a process of learning what was possible for me. And um, I, at some point I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I had a visual element to the show? And I really had no idea, was it going to be just a lighting design or a like, beautiful set or something pretty? And then I found projection mapping online and I thought it was very, very interesting and there was a lot of room for creativity in it. But I it was so epic and big. Everything I saw was, you know, the side of a building and things like that. And I was like, well, how, how, what if I brought this down to a more intimate size? And then really it was just this magic moment where I thought, what if I project onto the guitar? Like, what would that look like? And I hooked up with some um, visual artists named Glowing Pictures. They're the people who designed the show. And, um, and we did the test. We did the scan of the guitar and we did the mask and then we projected, I think the first image was like a Buddha statue and it just looked so good. It looked amazing and I thought, okay, this is gonna work. And from there I wrote a script and came up with some, we sort of shared the workload a bit. I, may, I produced some movies and some visual things and they, um, you know, sort of following my cue, developed a lot of the visual stuff. So it was a, you know, it was a really great collaborative effort and all the music was original. Um, so that's kind of the, that's how it started. I was just curious and I just started to look around and go to museums and go to, like really explore places I hadn't before. So. And whether or not it's, it's, obvious to a person, there's definitely a beginning, a middle, and an end. There's a feeling that something has started and gone on a journey and has resolved itself by the end of the piece. So it's not just music and, and visuals, it's this, it's a complete idea. It was written down, it was more of a storyline. It was, you know, I want the feeling to be like this. I want the idea behind this piece to evoke this. And, um, and in certain cases it was, uh, you know, I want this to sort of be a, a, a geometrical pattern. And often it wasn't, um, you know, what I wrote and what ended up happening was not the, the exact thing um, by definition. But, you know, a lot of it was, in the end I just wanted really beautiful images. And there is a storyline to this piece. It, it starts off with like a sort of digital cosmic soup of a possibility and then things start to grow and complex you know increasingly complex so you have uh, black and white images and just percussion on the guitar and then the first note that you hear is the first color that you see and then from there things gr just increase in complexity and then finally it becomes at that point it becomes about the guitar and the guitar goes on a journey and the guitar sort of explores some different shapes and it tells you, and it, the guitar starts talking at one point, it tells you this whole life story. And then you kind of see the skeleton of the guitar and the internal structure. In a, in a way it just has become my homage to the instrument. I had, <laughs> I am way out of my comfort zone doing this. So it, it was, it did not come naturally to me. And I, and I, like I said, I really, I just kept an open mind and I kept exploring and exploring and seeing, kind of falling down the rabbit hole of what it meant to have visuals in a show. And then what it meant for, you know, suddenly I'm out pro like producing and directing little movies that we have in the, in the show. And I'm, you know, kind of giving directive to people who are far more talented than me. Or, you know, I have no talent visually, really, but I do have, you know, I have like a gut sense of what I like. And, um, and so to kind of be in this place where suddenly I'm like, no, do this, go there, edit this way, can you cut this? It's been a challenge. It's not been something that I feel super comfortable with, it's especially when it's all abstract. It's all art that is, I mean, there's, it's instrumental guitar music and it's abstract, you know, color and, and picture and form. And so, you know, but then in a way it kind of can't be wrong. 
you know, you say, I want to, it to look like this, and then it doesn't, but it looks better, <laughs> you know? You don't get tied up in the literalness of, I need this to be this photo, and if it's not, then I'll be unhappy. Um, music videos are, I'm, I'm, I find them, the, the really good ones are really good, and they're kind of good in this, in, in the, in a way that maybe has nothing to do with the artist or the song, really. It's just, sort of, it's like, provides an excuse for people to make something pretty. Um, so yeah, and we will have some videos, so, you know, I will, I'm actually starting to write the script, or the, sort of do the storyboard for the, a video for this project. God, I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't even know. It's been so long since I paid attention to music videos, really. Um, yeah, I probably can't help you with that one. Okay. <laughs> David Lynch is, is like my favorite, he, you know, and, and his strange, strange of, or whatever, <laughs> is, is like, I'm very drawn to that, I'm very attracted to that kind of b bizarreness and things not making sense and things being a little, like, uncomfortable in a pretty way. And um, so he's kind of, I don't know that his inspiration is felt in this show, but there's definitely some gooier, stickier moments that I would say, you know, have, have their inspiration in him. <laughs>